Good day everybody, it's Nicole and welcome back to the Tillage Village. Thank you so much for joining us, thank you so much for subscribing. Today we're going to be talking about mulberries. Now behind me, just right there and at the end there are mulberry bushes. Excuse the noise, we're having some work done. But they're mulberry bushes. Now mulberry bushes are wonderful all trees because they actually grow quite large are wonderful wonderful plants so so easy to uh, recreate or propagate other plants out of one mulberry bush now we have two mulberry plants on the property very very large about 20 to 25 feet this one here and one further in the back now the wonderful thing about mulberry plants is that you can actually eat the fruit but the leaves you can actually give to your livestock excellent for protein now the mulberry plant is full of wonderful vitamins we have vitamin c we have iron we have zinc we have phosphorus we have um potassium and that's packed full in the mulberry plant in the actual mulberry fruit now the mulberry fruit is really like an elongated it's like a long blackberry now um i would advise you if you're going to grow any fruit a mulberry is a great one to grow because it grows extremely fast and the the fruit obviously does taste really nice and you can reproduce it very easily if you want to grow an orchard or grow a large amount of fruit trees very quickly now you can use mulberries in jams preserves um, you know on any uh, waffle or any dessert that you want to make you can use those it's wonderful it, uh, it lasts about two to four days when they're fresh so you could put them in the fridge but what I do if I don't eat them fresh I will pick them and store them in the freezer and until we have like a, a bulk amount and then I'll use them you can use them in pies in cakes etc or muffins So then we have a mulberry plant that we did a cutting from, and this is the cutting after several months. Now, these, as I said, are ever-bearing mulberry trees or mulberry plants, and this already has a mulberry on. Um, let's see if you can see. Can you see it there, the little red? There we go. So this, as it grows and we take care of it, will actually be completely loaded with mulberries. And this plant is about five foot high now. Now, what you would do when you pick the mulberries, because they're, they're quite long, is I soak them in salt water. And what that does, it helps with any bugs or tiny insects that are inside the mulberries or on the surface of the mulberries and it helps to you know kill those off so they die once they're in the salt water just leave it for a few minutes and you'll see them float at the top and then they're good to eat now here is a second mulberry plant that i did a cutting from and this is growing well too this is only about two feet high but doing extremely well and all from the same original mother plant. Now, after those mulberry plants did really well, I did another 11 cuttings and they actually started like this one here. I have these in the shaded, in a shaded area. You see? And I'll actually show you how I did this. So then we pop them in some soil with some rooting hormone. And then I would say about two weeks later, because of the humidity, look how much it's grown. Can you see that? That actually even has a mulberry on there. 
me show you. See the mulberry there? We have a mulberry there, and I think there's some mulberries. Um, maybe on the others. Yes. Let's see. Look. We have mulberries on there too. How wonderful is that? So we have an you know, we're actually trying to produce as, ma as many fruit trees as we can so we can get a good production. And, you know, you, you really have to, at the moment with how things are, limit your, your visits to the grocery store. We have some here that are growing really well too. And you just need to put these in the shade for them to actually start. And then before you know it, you'll have lots of mulberry plants. Now, I know that some people, um, you know, things are quite tight at the moment. A lot of people are struggling and they want to, you know, also produce food, grow as much as they can and put away. But I would really would suggest if there's a group of you and um, if you all get a certain plant, so one person would get a mulberry tree, another person would get a fig tree, another person would get a peach tree, and the three of you all work together, even if you don't have land, if you have a small space, if the three of you work together and one person gets each, so a peach tree, a mulberry tree, and a fig tree, once that grows, they grow pretty fast, once it grows to a certain, certain size, then you can take cuttings of that tree and you can split them between you, between the three of you or how many you know you want in that group. If you want 10 people in the group, go ahead, do 10 people or two people, five people, whichever. But everybody gets a cutting of that one plant and but you've only purchased the one. You see what I mean? So it helps to grow your food forest, your fruit um trees very very quickly with minimal amount of of money now if i was stuck on what fruits fruit trees to grow i would pick mulberries because they're fast growing they're good to taste and i can reproduce that one tree very very quickly so we have to now think about ways to to grow food that is very hardy, um, good in a variety of weathers, um, and you can reproduce, whether to reproduce it for yourself or to reproduce it to give to others. So um, I would say mulberries on the, the top three to uh, produce. You can actually eat the leaves. I know in China they make the, uh, they use the leaves as teas and tinctures, so you can use that uh, for that purpose too. So everyone, I hope this has helped you to think about growing some fruit trees because mulberry is a wonderful tree, wonderful plant to grow. Um, so that will be it for today. So I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for subscribing, for joining. And uh, we have lots of exciting things coming. Uh, so um, stay tuned and we will see you soon. God bless, stay safe and um, grow some fruit trees. Bye for now. Take care. Jesus loves you. Remember that. Bye.